that uh, Lee Burns was married in uh, 70 years ago, and uh, it was made, uh, says Apple Clothing Company, on the south side of the square in Springfield. And, uh, it's really in good shape for a 70-year-old. Also, we have his wife, who is still living today, we have her wedding dress, same one, I mean, and it will be on uh, display at the Methodist Church this afternoon. Bank, uh, where there's a lot of old pictures that are displayed, the uh, bank has had them on display here for some time, and it shows uh, Ben Caldwell and the, uh, and the old mansion, uh, also the W.H. Whitney uh, store that at one time was on the square in uh, Chatham, which is on the corner of Mulberry and Main, which is now Route 4. Caldwell Mansion, uh, north of Chatham on Route 4, and today it's been turned into a care center, livery stable, and uh, this would be on the north side of uh, Mulberry on the corner of what now, or what used to be the bank at one time, then it was a, a store, I believe. in 1929. Uh, we're in sidewalks for the Caldwell High School, which was on North Main, which is on the south side of Chatham. It's now our present uh, grade school, one through five. The Ladies' Aid Society, that uh, they bought uh, 60 bushel of corn for 50 cents per bushel, it says. Like today's market. Uh, it, yes, return. Board, uh, village board. Now this is a picture of a sheriff and his men, it says, but I don't know what year. It's an old one. Well, that's a, something that's coming up at Girard. That's a good one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Well, there's some damage, I mean. Fell on, on three dates. 1883, 1904, 1911. So that date is one of those three dates. Now you'll have to notice this is the old Gory meat market, which was down there at the, the A1. Yeah. Where the Bar A1 and grill uh -huh. and the American Legion Legions building were built, uh, on built on later. Let me show you. Okay. You don't have any idea who the sheriff was then. No, that's my problem. I can't find it out. See, here is the actual photograph itself of the way one in now. His dog out. If you'll oh. notice, it's not on either picture. We had to take that man and his dog out. Probably he's the only individual that, uh, uh, that that anybody could identify. Probably, <laughs> but livery stable. That's that was two o one or two o nine South Wall or West Wall, East Wall. Yeah. Uh, they said there was a livery stable there. See, here's the whole history, starting mm -hmm. the village of Chatham. The the Dodds and stuff who first came in here, yeah. all of the Dodds. This is this one here, see the railroad tracks right in the front of it? Now I have some others. Uh, I know that people would like to have had. Here's one we should have had. That's, That's the coal mine. Down. Uh -huh. The old coal mine. Now, is this the one out south? Yeah, out south of Chatham. Uh -huh. There's an explosion knocked that tip over, and that's why they decided to... Uh... Mm -hmm. That's out where the trailer court and all is yeah. now. Well, here he goes again. Yeah. <laughs> we ought to have some kind of a room, a building, a a, a place that's, that just stuff could that's be it. put and saved. Mm -hmm. it just, mm -hmm. There is nothing that... Uh, it would do my heart better than to have to I've got a lot of stuff at home that I would like to give a lot of these pictures we'd like to. Band in 1904 when 
the village of Chatham had their own band. Team of 1936. Uh, I didn't know the other, but I did know Ed Hedrick. And, uh, John Morgan, Percy Decker, and Jim Gorey. I knew all of them. Mm -hmm. They were quite, quite race. <laughs> did a lot of betting and oh. gambling. And yeah, yeah. This is the way they exercised the horse. Yeah. I and Mr. Morgan would drive, and they would exercise their horse by trotting him around town. Mm. I get that Ed used to be there. <laughs> That's what it, all the stories that I've heard. We took his buggy. I was, a, I don't know, about the eighth grade. We took his buggy, brand new, for these uh, races.